jury selection resumes at Trump's hush money trial in New York. This is we learn why many potential jurors have already been dismissed. Here's ABC's Andrew Dimbert. This morning, former President Trump returns to a Manhattan courtroom where prosecutors and defense attorneys have the task of seating a jury in Trump's historic criminal case. Nothing like this has ever happened before. There's never been anything like it. Trump faces 34 felony counts of falsifying business records to cover up a hush money payment to porn star Stormy Daniels to keep their alleged affair secret from voters before the 2016 election. He's pleaded not guilty. Yesterday, 96 potential jurors were included in the first group. At least 50 of them were excused after raising their hand, claiming they could not be fair or impartial. Reporters described Trump turning to face the potential jurors, eliciting visible responses. One woman giggling, hand over her mouth, eyebrows raised as she recognized Trump. One of the excused jurors was later heard saying, I just couldn't do it. About a dozen other people were excused for other reasons. The potential jurors remaining answered a seven-page questionnaire that screens for bias. The judge is making some initial cuts based on the responses to those jury questionnaires. Then the lawyers get to question the remaining potential jurors one-on-one. -on -one. Each side can cut up to 10 people for almost any reason. By the end of yesterday, not a single juror was seated. Leaving court, Trump complained about the scheduling conflicts created by the trial, including with his presidential campaign and potentially with his son Barron's high school graduation. Now, I can't go to my son's graduation, or that I can't go to the United States Supreme Court, that I'm not in Georgia or Florida or North Carolina campaigning like I should be. Judge Mershon has not officially ruled on Trump's request to attend Barron's graduation next month, saying it really depends on if we are on time and where we are in the trial. The judge did rule that Trump cannot attend oral arguments at the Supreme Court next week when Trump's hearing on presidential immunity gets underway. Andrew Dimbert, ABC News, New York.